Imagine a place in the universe where there's an abundance of the ingredients needed for star formation, yet, oddly enough, stars are not being formed. This isn't a piece of science fiction, but a real cosmic conundrum right at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy, in a region known as the Brick. The Brick is a place where the cosmic kitchen seems to have all the right ingredients for cooking up new stars, an abundance of frozen carbon monoxide ice. Carbon monoxide, or CO, is a crucial component for star formation. It's like the flour in the cosmic baking mix. But here's where the paradox kicks in. Despite having high levels of this star-making ingredient, the rate of star formation in the brick is surprisingly low. It's as though the cosmic oven is set to the right temperature, yet the cake just won't rise. You might wonder why this is puzzling. Well, according to established theories about star formation, places with high levels of carbon monoxide should be stellar nurseries brimming with newborn stars. But the brick defies this expectation, leaving us with more questions than answers. This galactic paradox is challenging our understanding of star formation. It's suggesting that our current theories might be missing something crucial, maybe even prompting a re-evaluation of molecular processes in our galaxy. Because if stars aren't forming where we expect them to, then we might need to rethink our understanding of how, when and where stars are born. Evidently, the brick is not just a brick in the wall of our galaxy, but a paradox that needs decoding. The James Webb Space Telescope, our eye in the sky, has been pivotal in these groundbreaking observations. This sophisticated instrument has revealed an intriguing paradox at the heart of our Milky Way. In the central region, known as the Brick, despite high levels of frozen carbon monoxide ice, the rate of star formation is unexpectedly low. These observations have compelled us to challenge established theories about star formation. We are now faced with a fascinating question. Why, in a region so rich in the building blocks of stars, are new stars not forming at a higher rate? The Webb Telescope's findings suggest that we may need to reevaluate our understanding of molecular processes in our galaxy. Perhaps most intriguingly, the Webb Telescope's observations indicate that the amount of carbon monoxide ice and the gas-to-dust ratio in the center of our galaxy may be lower than previously thought. This revelation is significant because it provides valuable insights into the distribution and transport of molecules in the solid phase, or ice, in our galaxy. These findings help us to understand more about the origins of the molecules that shape our cosmic surroundings. They offer a new perspective on the complex interactions that take place in the icy depths of space and how these interactions contribute to the overall structure and evolution of our galaxy. The Webb Telescope is doing more than just observing our universe. It's shedding light on the mysteries hidden within it. It's helping us to understand the dynamics of our cosmos and prompting us to question and redefine our existing theories. As it appears, the Webb Telescope is not just observing the cosmos, it's reshaping our understanding of it. With every observation, we're peering into molecular origins. Webb Telescope's findings reveal new ratios. They alter star formation. To stay enlightened, like and subscribe.